Hello and welcome. I'm Kristen. I'm the children's librarian right here at the High Point Branch. This video is part of the Seattle Public Library's Early Learning at Home Together series. Tune in all summer long for activities and tips to help the early learners in your life get ready to read. Today, we have an exciting adventure planned for you. We are going to be going to the West Seattle Bee Garden to learn all about bees. So let's go. Here we are at the Bee Garden. Today, we're gonna to be talking about vocabulary, ways to build your child's vocabulary by using words in everyday speech. You can do this in your home language every day, all the time. Building vocabulary is a great way to help your early learner with reading when the time comes. So here we are at the West Seattle Bee Garden with a special guest. I'd like to introduce you to Beekeeper Siobhan. Hi. So Beekeeper is someone who takes care of bees. Siobhan, can you tell us a little bit about why bees are so important? Yeah, bees are so important to our greater ecosystem. They provide a pollination services so that we can have more flowers and most importantly so that we can have our fruits and vegetables too. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, you just used a fantastic word, pollination. Can you share a little bit more about what that means? Sure. So pollination is how plants have babies basically. So a bee will gather pollen from one flower and go to another flower, and that helps plants have babies. And, you know, with our honeybees that we have here at the bee garden, we have boy bees, which we call drones. We have worker bees that do various tasks within the hive. Those are called worker bees. They're always girls. They're always girl bees. And then there's the queen bee. And there's only one queen bee per colony. She lays all the eggs for the entire colony. Wow. This rhyme is here is the beehive. Put your hands together like this to form a beehive or a house for bees. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Zzz, zzz. Watch as beekeeper Shaban puts on her bee suit to protect her from the bees. I'm lighting my smoker, getting my smoker all lit. Ooh, that looks like it's on fire. It's on fire. <laughs> The bees with the smoke think that everything's on fire and so they start focusing on preparing the hive to leave if they have to uh, rather than on what I'm doing. Okay. she's wearing pollen pants? Yeah, we call them pollen pants because <laughs> they're literal pockets on the side of their legs. That is pretty neat. What do you, what is the purpose of pollen pants? Pollen is a protein source for the baby bees. So it's sort of like food. Oh, I see a boy. Right here, see him? Is a little bit darker yeah. and larger? And he's bigger. His eyes look like flies. Look like fly eyes. Right here, can you see him? I do. They're pretty big, huh? I see her, I found the queen. 
Can you show us where the queen is? Yeah. She has a blue dot on her thorax area. That looks delicious. It does, doesn't it? Is it ready to eat? The parts for us, the parts that are under this packing is ready. How about the bees? Do they eat honey too? They eat honey too, yes. That's one of their primary food sources. are made up of different parts. Head, thorax, abdomen. Insects also have eyes, a mouth, two antennae, and six legs. Are you ready, BT Push It On? I'm ready. All right. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen, head, Thorax, abdomen, abdomen, eyes and mouth, and turn to six legs, and that's a honeybee for you. Sure. So I always say when you see a bee, let it be. So the bees are out and they're collecting pollen and they're collecting nectar and they're working really hard to get all their resources they need to survive. And so they're not very interested in you. So you can calmly observe them from a safe distance and watch them work and see how they pollinate all the, all the different flowers. So if you see a bee, you should use your eyes to watch and observe. Yes, use your eyes. Excellent. Thank you for Shalon. Thank you so much for sharing the hive with us today and some really cool facts and information about bees. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.